Uh, uh, this one, when I find it, it's called the, the Aging Raver. Uh, it's not called the Asian Raver, as somebody pointed out to me that they do sound like quite similar, but I just want to like, you know, put your mind at ease, this poem isn't a racial thing, uh, it's an ageist thing. Uh, no one really takes ageism seriously, do they? So we could all have a nice chuckle about how we're all going to get old and, like, you know, eventually die uh, without having to worry about anything as serious as race. So, relax. It goes like this. Aging raver, totally wasted at midday on the back of the bus. Again, I just want to stress, I don't know what your racist little ears heard me say there, but I didn't say that. I said, aging raver, totally wasted at midday on the back of the bus. Aging raver, he used to be all crazy, but these days he actually is, and the kids all call him Wurzel Good. But he doesn't seem to mind because tonight he's gonna party like it's 1992. <laughs> A little bit too much of the good stuff may have marshmallowed his mind, and now he's constantly looking for his dog that he lost that actually died in 2005. Oh. AJ Raver still believes that sleep is a sign of weakness, but the terrible dreams and insomnia means that he'll usually wake up screaming. AJ Raver remembers the good old days, the generations of boredom when we learned patience because we had to make us own entertainment when we was young, play out with our mates till after dark, illegally gain access to a derelict building, throw a party that lasted for a month and a half and still have change left over for him showing. <laughs> Not like these fashion fascists, funny looking youngins with beards and moustaches, lensless glasses, penny farthing BMX bandits, fashion senseless feckless millennials who like to party sober and celibate a million miles from the parties of yesteryear and I've still got the ringing in my ears he remembers the second summer of love but he's forgotten how to dance punching the air and swinging his legs like he thinks he's John Cleese Van Damme aging raver, the music these days goes through you through you like half a lager, missing tooth Missing Wellington boot, he looks like a suicidal farmer. Aging raver, bald and grey, probably best to keep it shaved these days, mate. Not like your dreadlocks back in the day that looked and smelled like Chewbacca's litter tray. <laughs> when one fell out, crawled away and turned into a butterfly. Bulk powder, dust, cocaine, dandruff, blew that poor motherfucker sky high. And so far, no girl has had the patience to try and hold the reins because he still comes off the rails more often than a so-door train. Which is a joke that I wouldn't have got either because I never read the Thomas and Tank Engine books when I was a kid. But I have since read them to my own children. And you know what? You thought Northern Rail was bad. Don't go to the Isle of Sodor. Fuck me. Honestly, they're just fucking rolling around in the fields for most of the time. There's actually a book where Thomas drives through the kitchen wall of the fat controller's house while he's sat having breakfast with his family. And that guy's in charge. It's a fucking disgrace. Uh, anyway. Uh, so don't worry, I wouldn't have got that joke either. <laughs> Aging Raver, he used to be Avor crazy, but these days he's more insane than a Japanese game show. Which is actually slightly racist towards Asians, isn't it? Uh, I, I apologise for that. I should not so confidently assure you that that wasn't going to happen at the start of the poem when I obviously knew full well that it was going to happen. But, you know, we enjoyed it, didn't we? And, uh, for such a left-leaning liberal audience as yourself, that's refreshing. Um, I, I didn't find it funny, personally, so I can live with what was said. But can you? Because uh, you've got to be careful what you say these days, aging raver. The jokes you used to make with your mates may no longer work in your favour. And you ain't seen your lightweight mates since they turned middle age in 2004. And they bought you a ticket to go and see Keen and you told them to get to fuck, man. What are you talking about? Keen? Are you taking a fucking piss? Perhaps it would seem that ketamine and dinner parties don't mix. Shout in. Carver, 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 carver. Shout in. White wine, mega, mega, white wine. You wake up the baby dancing around the dinner table in your pants to the most middle-aged, middle-of-the-road music ever made by man. A compilation CD of John Lewis Christmas adverts. A soft acoustic cover version of the prodigy's no good start the dance that goes, you're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Fuck me, forgive me, Keith. 
fuck off with your namby pamby nondescript deliberately breathless wishy-washy bullshit artless sexless ballless fucking bollocks if you want to sing a shit song go and write one instead of dicking over every decent tune that's ever been written you talentless pieces of shit whatever happened to the stolen car hardcore the music the dance floor was actually made for the gaping ear hole audio porn the reason why the baby raver was born the blood pumping, relentlessly thumping, sugar rushing, bang! The thunk, the thunk, who'd have thunk that you'd be the last man standing? Cheers. Hey.